so you get, make sure that they have food but no water. You know water is more essential than food? That they can survive a little bit longer without food than water. Pets are the most amazing creatures you could have to ease your life bumps. I'm absolutely appalled that you you have this dog out here, skin and bones, soiled, laying in her own feces. But what happens when people turn against these pure-souled creatures? So, whatever animals you have that you're not able to properly care for, you should surrender. Here are different cases when this happens, starting with case one. On January 26, 2020, Deputy James responded to an eviction call in DeLand, aiming to provide assistance to a person relocating from their residence. During the operation, Deputy James was alerted to the presence of a dog on the property's front porch, reportedly docile and motionless. Where is it? Hold on, whoa, whoa. He won't even move. He won't even move. He can't get up. Okay. Go ahead. See what you, see you can handle it. Back What's up here. with the dog here? here? That's my dog. What's wrong with him? He's uh, her. No, nothing's wrong with the dog. She's just right there. She's like warm. Well, oh, she. We just walked up here and she didn't even budge. Is she all right? Yeah, she's fine. Doesn't seem like it. Pull the covers off over. Give me a pop. Pull the other cover off. Oh, f no. Have a seat, sir. Have a seat. Have a seat like I done told you. Close the door. Yeah, that ain't gonna fly, sir. One Delta 26 Central. Let me make it. No, no, you sit down. God. No, this is just a guy. Bunch of fucking horse. This guy. Have a. Trying to control, control my ass. What's up, my ass doing? On right now. This ain't even my dog. You just said it was your dog. Upon closer examination, Deputy James discovered the canine, named Miria, concealed beneath blankets. Shockingly, Miria was severely malnourished and covered in filth, despite having an untouched bowl of food nearby. Recognizing the dire situation, Deputy James promptly contacted Volusia County Animal Services, who assessed Miria's condition as critically poor, assigning her the lowest health score possible. Take care of it. Don't get the f off my property. Yes, we're gonna need one out here. Bullshit. I'm gonna got bag. You don't think so? No. So you think it's okay to have a dog out here, as skinny where his ribs are showing, sleeping in his? I here all the time. Okay, this dog is sitting here. All right, turn it back on. This dog sitting here, skin and bones, did not even budge when we came up here, and is sitting in his own or her own. So you're gonna tell me you think that's okay? No, it's not okay. Okay, then why the f are you letting it happen? I am absolutely appalled that you you have this dog out here, skin and bones, soiled, laying in her own feces. I'm pissed off. You're pissed off. That's because that's ridiculous. What? Your middle name. Absolutely atrocious how that dog looks. It is bull. I, I we, we are finally in agreement. We are finally in agreement that you have this dog up here and you think this is okay. Following the assessment, Ronald Allen Winters, aged 72, was apprehended on charges of animal cruelty. Despite immediate medical intervention from a veterinarian, Miria's condition continued to deteriorate rapidly. That is so cruel to let that dog be like that. I'm sad looking at that dog and you just you just put her a blanket over it and just, and just call it a night. That's disgusting. I know I'll so. You, I'll tell you what's disgusting. Somebody is trying to help out, is trying to fry your you, you, she's a you're still talking about her and you're not even caring about this damn dog. Yeah, I care about the dog. She's I gone. To have she, done with she, the dog. She's gone. She's out of your life. She's that that situation's done unless you let her come back. 
That's done. Yeah, she ain't coming. I don't want to hear one word about her. I'm on the dog now. Yeah. That is sad looking at the, the condition sad. of this dog. But you're letting it happen. So we're going to take care of the dog tonight, and we're going to take care of you tonight. Because that's disgusting that you allow that dog to lay like that. That ain't going to fly. I was just curious on why the dog didn't get up. So, anyways, uh, they're probably going to lock me the f right off. Because they're an idiot. Yeah, we're okay, idiots. So we're idiots. <laughs> we're, we're idiots. Yeah, this is how you got this dog. I'm going to get animal control out here. We're going to get this dog taken care of tonight. Because that's disgusting. Absolutely inhumane how, how this is going on. I'm so sad looking at that dog. So do you think that, that the way that she looks is okay? That she, no, I don't. She should have had some help or some type of relief? Really yeah, I was trying to get some money so I could do that. Have you tried to reach out for some assistance anywhere, sir? No, because I've been patient. What side you want him on? Regrettably, due to her irreversible suffering, the compassionate decision was made to euthanize Miria, allowing her to pass peacefully. If you thought this was cruel, wait until you see this case where Case 2, on July 28, 2021, at around 11.19 a.m., Deputy Morgante was dispatched to 1208 Palm Coast Parkway, SW-12, Palm Coast, FL-32137, regarding an animal-related issue. Upon arrival, Deputy Morgante witnessed Deputy Cooper and witness Anthony Duncan frantically attempting to cool down black puppies and other animals found in dire conditions. You should not be having them in the um, car. I know, man. Bring them over here to me, please. Your car? Yes. Yeah. No, I'm gonna put them in my front car. They wasn't supposed to take this long. We had medicine that was all night. All right, all right sweetie pies. We're getting you. Can we open the door? No, I got it. Yes, Taylor, hey, we're, I need, you got water? Water? Do you got, I have money. I hey, come here. Come, come right here. But it's all in her wallet. You got it. You got the wallet in her. Put all these dogs in the, I mean, there. I need you to grab um, a water bowl. Grab a water bowl out of your pen. Yes, ma'am. They're, they're highly dehydrated. They're, they're literally on to the verge. Is there more in there? Yes. Okay. One of the guys are cold. Okay. Is that, is that it? That, that these are all the animal, animals? Yes, that's all the animals right there. Okay. Do you have your ID on you? It's in the car with my kids. What's up? It's in the car with my kids. Okay. Give, give us one second. For some reason, man, we need to pry. I know they, Rex they, is busy they were, right now. Yeah, uh -huh. um, I need for him to come over here because I don't think that this is no. this, this, this is animal look, cruelty. Look at all, look at yeah. All the fleas. Look at this. Yeah. These are these puppies. The puppies are neglected. You can't even drink the water. Oh my god. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That this is going. We're gonna have to. Um, force, um, we're gonna have yeah, to get there this. we go. <gasps> oh, oh, okay. Uh, okay. Is, right, um, let me grab um, a couple more of them really fast. Get them hydrated. They, they, were, they were trying to leave There's before two. just to let you know. Oh no, my god, no, this is I've never seen this before. No. Taylor, check on the other dogs really fast too. Yeah. More puppies in yeah. There. yeah, this one is really good. Do you have any water for them? Okay, 
When was the last time they had water? Uh, not too long ago. We also put ice in here for them because they're huskies. Okay. We didn't think it'd be this bad on them trying to move. Hey, puppies. Hey, kitties. Those are all my cats. There's four of them. You said I'd be right. Yes. You need both of ours? Yes. They, they all need they all need water the puppies were panting heavily and severely dehydrated while numerous dogs and four cats were discovered in cages inside a u-haul trailer suffering from matted fur and feces covered coats the interior of the u-haul felt like a sauna emitting a strong odor of feces here right, this, right next to you Shake it. that dog gonna pass out if you don't give it up give it give it a little disoriented. Just have him sit down. Put him down. Sit. Sit, boy. Sit. Sit. Come here, mommy. Come here, baby. 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 Come Come on, baby. You're okay. Come here. Need anything else from me? I'm right down the road. Call okay, me. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. If you need more water, I'll go get more water right now. While you're doing that, I'm going to take them away and start questioning them. Okay. Um, now, can y'all follow me, please? You can go first. We're going to go over here. All right. You're Jason? Yes, ma'am. Okay, where, where are y'all coming from? Fayetteville, Tennessee. Tennessee, Flipville, Tennessee. Okay, from your address. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and how long was the U is the U-Haul from Tennessee too? Okay, how long have y'all been driving? Uh, well, we started last night at nine or ten, nine or ten. Nine or ten. Okay, so today is Wednesday, so Tuesday around nine or ten. Okay, y'all are in Tennessee. Yes, ma'am. Okay, were the dogs in the U-Haul truck at that time? Yes, ma'am. Okay. How long were they in the U-Haul truck? Majority of the way. Majority of the way. They, they was in her dad's car, but then we uh, we stopped so that way he could uh, he could go get us lunch. But then we never met back up with him, so we loaded everything in the back of the okay. truck. Okay. Were, were you with him in Tennessee? Okay. How do y'all know each other? Uh, we've been together for about a year. We decided okay. we're getting married, and then we're moving down here to start our family. Okay. Okay. Where where are y'all currently living at? Uh, we, we just saw, bought a house. Yeah, we just here. bought a house down here. That's why we're moving here. We were only about an hour away from the house. Yeah, Tom. Mm -hmm. We like, stopped to get the dog check on the dog. Water okay. Get them out. Did y'all did y'all ever stop along the way to check on them? Yes, yes. when we stopped at four different rest stops, and each time we stopped, I did have that AC unit plugged up into uh, the and uh, building. It it's supposed to be going through the U-Haul. It U -Haul? was in the U-Haul. We stopped for about an hour each time, so that way they could get AC or get some refreshment. We took them out, walked them, and then uh, let them go to the bathroom. Okay, when was the last time they had water? Uh, earlier this morning around 5-ish. Around 5? Five? Five so that's why we were stopping to try and find some water and uh, get them okay. back uh, recuperated. And then we heard all the puppies calling, so that's why we stopped right there. Yeah. I went in there to go see if uh, Harper Freight had any water, but they didn't have any water. And I ran okay. back out, and then that's when I met this gentleman. Whenever you opened up the U-Haul, what... what what were the puppy's condition at that time, or all the animals at that time? I didn't, I didn't go in the back. I just opened it up and I turned on, uh, I made sure the fan was going and they still had ice inside their door to blow the air around. Okay, well, what did they What did they look like? I, I didn't check. You I know? just opened them up and then I started to check on them and then while I ran in, they go to see about water and everything. Okay. Were you guys traveling with another party as well? Oh, we yeah, but we don't know where he's at anymore. Okay, was there any animals in that vehicle? No, we picked up everything and put them in the back of here. From the other party? Information. We, we can't get a hold of them anymore. Who is it? Who is it that you're traveling with? Your father. Your father? You just can't get a hold of them? Okay. Well, what's the name of the dog? Do you guys own all these animals? Majority. 
don't do own all the animals? That's, that's what you said? Yeah, but the puppies we're getting rid of. We, we didn't plan on keeping them down here. They weren't even supposed to happen. We were visiting here and the family was watching the dogs uh -huh. and it happened. And so we were trying to take care of them, wait until they were old enough until the pond was coming out the field. I can't take care of this many animals. Yeah, I mean, considering that we're on the side. Efforts were made to alleviate the animals' distress by providing water and relocating them outside the U-Haul for ventilation. Anthony Duncan reported his observations and assisted in directing the owners, Jason Donellan Sparks and Shauna Dowd, to a shaded area upon realizing the severity of the situation. A lot more stuff in there, too, so you gotta think. The air conditioner is probably not circulating way, way, the way you thought would it would be trying to get those dogs. I know, babies. So from 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock, you knew that the dogs didn't have any water. From 7 o'clock to basically, I would roughly say about 20 minutes ago, you still also realized that they didn't have water. So that's seven hours of without any type of liquid. Where's the food and all that? Do you have any food for them? Well, we just gave them the last stuff. We've been having wet well, food for them. Okay, when was the oh, where's the last, when did you give them the last five bit of, about five o'clock? So you gave, make sure that they had food, but no water. You know water's more essential than food? Yeah, that absolutely. they can survive a little bit longer without food than water? I, I can't tell you exactly how hot it is currently, but just by me standing here, I'm sweating. I don't have fur, so I know that they are, they're very, very hot, okay? So they can't sweat. So that's by them pa um, panting, that's them being um, hot. So they're trying to cool off by that point, okay? Okay, you can talk to them. Can you do me a favor, come over here with me for a second? Just so I can talk to you by yourself. So I understand that uh, these deputies over here kind of, you gave them a rundown of everything that happened. Can you just let me, fill me in on everything that happened? Uh, which part? Like the whole story? Yeah, like yeah. Time? All right, we left uh, Tennessee at nine, nine, 10, somewhere in between there. We gave them. Uh, we got. We had medicine that's supposed to knock them out for 12 hours, so that way we can make the whole trip at night. But uh, we stopped to rest twice uh, last night, about an hour. So that, that ended up killing the time on it. And then uh, we lost your dad, so we didn't wasn't able to get any of the stuff. But we stopped at five and seven, found out they didn't have water. We gave them food at five, and then we drove. Five a.m. Yes. Okay. And we drove a little bit further, and then I can't remember where we stopped at another rest stop. I didn't even think about getting the, uh, using the water bucket, but I got a couple bottles of water things, but it wasn't much. But uh, and then we stopped here a little while ago when everybody uh, see if we can get water from Parker Freight and then a dolly so we can unload the trailer. And that's when uh, I met that gentleman. That gentleman said uh, he's called. They've called the police that I needed to stay here. Okay. Um, how long have they been in the? Have, like, how long have you guys been traveling with the dogs in the back and the cats? Since nine and ten. Last night. Okay. And where's your? Where are you guys headed to? Where's your final destination? Uh, Mims, Florida, is where we're going. Uh, it's the final destination. Okay. Um, is there any type of AC back there for them, or any type of? Um, well, I had a bucket with a, a fan that had a pool of ice in it to help get them by last night. But I didn't, I, like I said, I did not plan on driving this this late in the day. But uh, every time we stopped at a rest stop, I do have a portable air unit that I ran a cord to from the building, so that way they could have air in the back of the building. How long did you do that for at a time? About an hour the whole time we were stopped. Okay. How often are you making stops? Uh, well, we haven't stopped to much today because other than the five and the seven o'clock, because I planned on trying to get to the house so that way we could let them all out and then do the normal business but so you stopped at 5 a.m and then 7 a.m okay and it's now 11 44 what made you pull over here today uh, uh i really i remember that they've been out that long uh, i'm sorry i realized that they were without water that long so we needed to get them water okay when you pulled over what did you notice when you opened the back or uh, before you opened the back were, uh, the puppies were screeching so i had her come out check on the puppies while i ran to go see about uh, everything in the store Okay, and what did the dogs and cats look like to you? I, I didn't know. I just opened the gate and told her to come around and check on it. That's, that's so a legit So you just opened dog. it and left? Yes, okay. You just heard the puppy screeching? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, so. And you guys own all of these animals? Alright, you, um, you can come have a seat over here on the curb if you want, or you can stand up. It's up to you. I'll move you closer over here. You want to come over here? 
Uh, not yet. I don't. I know animal control is responding because of the condition of the dogs right now. Okay. Um, but as far Both Jason and Shauna confirmed they had been traveling with the animals since the previous evening without providing them water for approximately seven hours. Palm Coast Animal Control arrived to assess the situation, determining that the animals were in poor condition and at risk of death if left in the U-Haul any longer. Consequently, Jason and Shauna were arrested for animal cruelty. Okay. Now, when you guys stopped, what did you do? When you stopped here today, what did you do? Uh, we, I got out of the truck. I tried to open it to check on them. Okay. That's when I realized they were all panting and the puppies were having fits. And I knew that I, had, I didn't know what to do, but I knew I had to do to get the water because the puppies were even completely stressed out and crying. But I don't, I had just woke up. I went, I'm not even aware of where we're at. You're not even aware of where we're at? You're in Flagler County. So you're just south of St. John's County, just north of Daytona Beach. Um, okay. I'll tell you what, you can um, do me a favor and have a seat over here near your fiance if you would like, okay? Nothing in your pockets is going to stick me, right? No. no. Hot? Hot? Well, you can take a hands off. That's just something we say. Nothing on you, right? It's no contraband. Okay. okay. You want to hold on this phone? Or how do you work it? I don't care. Yeah, this is mine. This is mine. That's yours. Yeah. Okay. You have your. You have second pair of clubs. You want to use mine? No, I got them. Okay. Give me one second. Let me put this on. Let me put this on. I'll hand them. Okay. All right. Turn around. Can you talk about your All right, you know what you're getting charged with, right? Animal cruelty. Double lock them so they don't tighten down on your wrist. All right. Go ahead. Put your butt in first. I, I got a bag. Okay. Yeah, they'll take everything out as soon as you get to jail. I got my belly pierced and it took about like a year to heal. More than a year, like maybe a year and a half. Did he have his sunglasses on him? I got two other ones. No? In his pocket? Okay, no, they're okay. I think he puts them Yeah, so once you get them to the jail, so advise them that you are obviously they're going to see those. They're going to have those removed by the nurses. Let them know that you do have a pocket because they're going to have those. Nothing else in your um, your pockets. I'll put it in your front seat. Yeah. Those are good. Here it is. Okay. 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 Do you have a bra on? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, have you face me so we're away from the male. Shauna's son, who was also traveling with them, was placed under the care of family members. Photographs documenting the animal's condition and the U-Haul's state 
were taken as evidence. These cases are inhumane, makes us wonder how humans became like this, like in that case. Case 3. A Deltona resident, Zachary Michael Crane, age 26, faces charges of animal cruelty following the discovery of his severely malnourished dogs. Deputies, assisting Deltona animal control officers, found three dogs, Dolly, Buttercup, and Joker, deprived of food and water, left outside an intense heat upon intervention. Okay. You smelling me? You smell my puppies? Hi, baby. Come here. Hi. Can you see this real quick? Can I see your little pretty face? I can, like literally like stick my fingers. Like no fat or muscle yeah, definition whatsoever. Okay. Hi, thank you. Hello. I appreciate you saying hi. She's at least still got some yeah. some some meat left to her. But it's still Yeah, it's still not okay. When was the last time that you um you weren't able to like or that you actually gave them food? The last time I gave them food would have been at least two, two to three days ago. Two to three days ago? Yeah. Okay. You do, you do real. Animal Control took custody of the dogs for evaluation and care. Crane was apprehended on Tuesday evening, charged with three felony counts of animal cruelty and three misdemeanor counts of unlawful confinement, abandonment of animals without sufficient sustenance. The distressing condition of Dolly and Buttercup, who had previously escaped their pen, prompted the authorities' action. Both were visibly underweight, with Buttercup exhibiting severe skeletal protrusion. You can let Animal Control know that you can't take care of your dogs when you have three kids? Okay, because you do realize that when it comes to dogs, especially outside in this heat, one, I see that the water is finally over there. I didn't really see any water. Okay. Um, dogs also need to eat too. Okay. Right? I, I saw your dogs. Okay. They're small. Yeah, but not small because they're meant to be small. No, they're small because they're not stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, and the fact that you haven't been taken from the vet. Okay. I would suggest calling animal control, mm -hmm. letting them know that you would like to surrender all three of your dogs, all right? Because this dog over here, skin condition, yeah. And, you know, I, I could tell from the moment- During questioning, Crane admitted to financial constraints preventing him from purchasing food for approximately five weeks, leading to sporadic feeding of the dogs. Despite the extreme weather conditions in Deltona, with temperatures soaring to 99 degrees, and heat indices reaching 108 degrees, the dog's water bowls were dry. Immediate intervention included providing water to Joker, the remaining dog, while a deputy purchased dog food for the neglected pets. Yeah, so whatever animals you have that you're not able to properly care for, you should surrender. Because, like it's I said, it's not fair to them. And I'm sorry to let you know, but two and a half days ago, right? Uh, did not cause what the dogs look like now. No, no, I, yeah. Me, I that. I okay. Know. Deputies ensured the well-being of children in the household, confirming they were adequately cared for with sufficient food. Crane, having posted bail of $9,000, awaits further legal proceedings while animal control continues to oversee the dog's recovery. Hello. This is for the dog. Okay, I'm so sorry. Hey, no, Good. I can put it here though, or I can Great. take it to the backyard. Mrs. Yeah. 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 Kind of a shitty cop, but it happens. I just brought you guys food for the dog. Yes, appreciate it. And I'm now I'm a shitty cop. Just the way you're talking to my husband, and the way y'all began talking about my children. Okay. We asked about the children. Yes, it had nothing to do with my children. Did it not? So someone understands that you guys are going through a difficult time, like your okay. husband explained. Yes, but we don't have to have this conversation. Well, I don't have to be told the children that I'm a shitty cop for bringing you food. These, Hello. These, are these kids yours? I didn't think this so. This is for the dog. I, I understand that. This is solely for the dog. Oh, shit, I can't do that to my kids. I, 
I hope you guys give up the dog as soon as possible. Yeah. Is there anything else the sheriff's office can do for you?